Smoke and Tobacco's coverage of the 2023 PCA Trade Show and Convention is brought to you by Drew Estate, the rebirth of cigars. What's going on, everybody? Matt Tobacco from SpokenTobacco.com. I am here at PCA 2023 with coverage brought to you by Drew Estate. I am at the Epic Cigars booth with none other than Dean Parsons. Dean, how are you? Matthew, great, brother. Good to see you. Uh, glad we finally connected after all this time. You know, I know. a few weeks back, and uh, we had a great, you know, great conversation on your uh, on your on your uh, live and, and podcast and stuff. So uh, it's been good. Been a good show. Happy to be here back at PCA 2023. You're all smiles. You're all excited. It's, it's, I'm going to take that. That means that you've had have a good show so far. Yeah, we have. It's, <laughs> it's been great. I mean, you know, having obviously having Chaz here and the release of of the Bronx Tale cigar for Chaz as a, as a tribute to. Uh, to his grandfather, it's pretty special. Uh, yeah. He's very been involved in this project from day one. It's been a, almost a two and a half year project from the time we started discussions with Chaz to to launching it here. So really, really excited and, and happy to have him here. And, and uh, you know, the guy's got an incredible following. He's truly an icon in the industry, uh, you know, in the film and, and production and, and acting. So uh, everybody's been crazy all day. There's been a line here, you know, since one o'clock. So. That's good, though. That's yeah. good. Have a busy yeah. booth on the street yeah. show. And what's <laughs> even better is actually Guy Fieri came by, and we, we got to see him last night because we stopped over at Espinosa's, the opening party. Yeah. And he, want, he, he Chad said, Dean, I want to go and meet Guy Fieri. <laughs> and then Guy <laughs> came back over today. So, you know what? It's great to have these kinds of people that are influencing our industry and bringing good vibes, and they've got, you know, massive followings. It really puts eyeballs on, on what we're doing for this industry and what... The, the possibilities. It's not just about cigars. It's about well. It's it's about relationships. We always talk about, about that. the people. Yeah, it's about absolutely. The people. Yeah, and that's you know what makes this industry so special. Yeah. Now, on time, in terms of the Bronx, that we we met with Jazz. We talked about kind of the inspiration, and everything behind this cigar. But excuse me, when it comes to the actual blend in the cigar, I know this is kind of more of your forte. Sure. Tell us sure. a little bit about what is the blend in the cigar, what kind of tobaccos have you guys used? And, sure, uh, sure. And how many sizes? Is it one size? It's only one size, 54 by 6. It's a Toro box press. Okay. Um, the inspiration from the blend came from Paul De Silvo. Uh, Paul grew up with Chaz's, uh, Paul's father grew up with Chaz. And they're best friends. And so Paul owns Arthur Avenue Cigars in the Bronx, uh, La Casa Grande. Yep. He came to me, made the introduction to Chaz a couple of years ago. And we wanted to start with a Havana wrapper because that's a blend that he had worked on in, in the Bronx. So we started with trial and error, Havana wrappers, worked on, with some Dominicans from Nicaraguan binders back and forth. Anyway, long story short, we've got a beautiful Ecuador Havana wrapper, Dominican binder, Dominican and Nicaraguan fillers. It's a medium plus as far as strength. Uh, flavor. It's it's a fantastic cigar. We wanted something full of flavor but not too strong because Chaz wanted something that, you know, everybody could smoke as opposed to, you know, something that was going to kind of not not be in, in everyone's wheelhouse. So Nothing um, too real specific with, you know, or too strong or you wanted correct. something anyone can enjoy. Exactly. Yeah, correct. a smart so, move. A yeah, smart move. Yeah. And we, we, we've got a few plans. This is a tribute to his, you know, to his grandfather, uh, but we've got some plans in the works to maybe do some other special releases as well under the Bronx Tale name for Chaz. Um, so sort of keep an eye out for those. We're still in discussions on what direction we want to go, but uh, this is a, a right now a regular production run, but uh, we've got plans for, for other lines for Chaz uh, that will be under the Bronx Tale name and under his name. So That's awesome. Yeah, really, That's really excited. Awesome. You guys are already thinking ahead. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it, for sure. Yeah. Outside of a Bronx Tale, is there anything else here at the booth that's new or you, that you're kind of um, highlighting? Well, our new Epic packaging, finally, we're, we're very close on finalizing our new Epic packaging. So we've gone from slide, slide top boxes to the, you know, the 10 wide, two side, uh, two rows. Um, we've got the Epic Big Stick, which is a cigar that I made for the big golf company. A yep. good friend of mine, Chris Denhardt, who owns uh, Dugout Mugs down in Tampa, Florida. And uh, we've got a couple other lines in that Seco, the Casino Royale. We, yeah, we got between that Seco and Epic, we've got about 15 different different lines. So we got a lot of products here, and and uh, a pretty good selection for for all of our retailers. And um, we've got a lot of our distributors here from Canada and Germany as well. So it's uh, it's a bit a bit, he bit hectic, but. The number one thing we're focused on this this show is is the Bronx Tale and and customers have been been uh, been buying so we're excited. Well, that's really awesome. Well, Dean, I don't want to keep you too long. Thank you for being here with us today. I really appreciate it. It's I appreciate always great you to chat too, with you. And uh, guys, stay tuned for more coverage from PCA 2023. Brought to you by Drew Estate. Take care.